here we are for the second half of the run. Pretty much you can call the whole run both locations. The lathe system run that does all the five systems up there and then the Fujin side of the run that has these five stations. Um, that is a whole run. So here's the second half of the run that I haven't shown you yet. And Fujin, I already have picked up some Fujin tea. They only had two at the time and there's only six right now for me to take which isn't awesome but eight is typical for fusion t so we begin i'm going to launch first and then navigate over because the first location you go to is 39 tauri and 39 tauri is on the navigation chart And now we arrive at our second station, which is Porta. Porta station in the 39 Tauri system is where you want to go. It has Tauri chimes, and that is the rare that you find here in the commodities market. So as I come in for a landing, I'm going to pull out my second set of rares in this run. Unlike, oops, unlike the uh, first half of the run where we get six items out of five star ports we only end up with five items Tauri chimes they're getting eight decent amount move along and even though I have to type it in I can still launch because I do launch I open up my galaxy tab type in George Pantazis and George Pantazis is two stops away at 37 light years away and I usually am back in before I have to fly off. Arriving at Zamka platform now. Zamka is in the George Pantazis system. One awesome thing about this side of the run is that all five of these stations are close to their star. So when you get there, you don't have as long of a travel to make it to the station as you did in the other side. But uh, it still takes time. I mean, right now we're 12 minutes into the run, and we've only visited three stations. This will be the third one once I get to the commodities market. One thing I was mentioning is that these can be considered illicit. I believe these Panta prayer sticks that you get here have been seen as illicit before and I'm not sure where I was and whether or not this was the item that was illicit. So just if you go outside of the run, if you go somewhere else other than these 10 stations inside the run, prepare yourself to double check the right bottom corner where you can see illicit cargo warnings above your uh, let me get out of this menu and I'll show you. It is above the fuel gauge where it has that waveform that looks like it's testing sound or whatever in the area that gets larger and says illicit cargo in red. That's when you know that you're in a system that's going to consider what you're carrying illegal and charge you or fine you if they scan you with it. So now from George Pantazis, you do have a place you do have a place that is right here on our navigation tab. It is ZSC or ZEC. This place is at the bottom and you can get there without having to type it in. Arriving in Nicolier hangar uh, we are in the, not George Pantazis, so we are in Zisa, we are in Zisa now, and here we get, what was it called, I can't remember what the rare is called, but this is the second to last stop before you're out, I don't have a ton of cargo right now, so even as many hours have passed, this is an average cargo though, I mean 8, 8 and 10, typically it's like one of these will be 3, but 
So I think I'm looking at a pretty good run. Altair tends to have tons of Altairian skin, and so we're in good shape. We're running well. All right, so we pull up the commodities market and pick up the grub or whatever this you see. Oh, yep, it is ant grub glue. And I'm getting 11 of them, so that's awesome. I'm already up to 37, so I'm going to hit my average easily with Altairian skin, and I might even end up with more. So this is sweet. I'm going to go ahead and launch again and jump into my galaxy view. Altair, another two jumps away. Never have to go too far. At the most, you get a two jump on this end. The other end, it was all one jumps, but here you do have two stations where it's a two jump, and that's George Pantazis and Altair. Other than that, very quick runs, very easy to jump in. I'm hitting the 20 minute mark and I'm leaving my fourth station. So this is going to be just fine. Approaching our final station, it is Solo Orbiter in the Altair system. Here we get Altair and skins, and I'm telling you, more often than not, you're going to get 15 plus. I typically get 20 something. Unless I'm really unlucky, this station has a lot, and so I'm excited about that, seeing that I've already gotten the average. 11, 8, 8, 10. That's awesome. So, all I need is five and I'll be at an average run that gives me 700,000 and I'm going to end up with more than five Altarian skins so let's see how it goes <laughs> 13 that's one of the low end ones but I'm still stoked about that that puts me at 50 that's above average and I am going to be in great shape. So now I take this all the way to my new, or all the way back to where we began at Lave. This jump takes about 10 minutes to go. And we have arrived at Lave Station. So 40 minutes of effort, I'm back at Lave Station after running through the Fujin's half of the run. And I'm selling away. I'm starting out with about 800, or about 8 million, so about 50 short of 8 million. Let me see what I end up with. Only five lobby and brandy right now, but I'm buying that. Not making a run next, so when I log on again, I can have already the five that I purchased, and then grab any more that are up on the market. And looks like five is the only thing left. Okay, so I just about had eight million, and I was 50 shy. I'm at 714,000 after eight million, so really I had a 760, 750,000 run. So that is golden. Totally fine with that. Love that I have 8 million in the bank. How's my stats looking? Oh, I always do this. Dun, dun, dun. I've had 31,603,000. 31, so, my next run, <coughs> doing the Labian run as well as the other half, which is the Fujin run, I'm going to have the broker rank. So that's awesome.